Hi, I'm Evan at Sarah Laser, and I'm going to be welding your test parts here today with the LightWeld XR welding system. Um, there's a couple of different models of the LightWeld system. There's the base model, the XC and the XR. I happen to be using the XR today, which is the top of the line model. Uh, but keep in mind that these parts in particular here uh, will be able to be done with any of the models. Uh, this is just what I have on hand at the moment. Um, the base model and the XC have a range of penetration from around 40 thousandths up to about a little under 3 sixteenths. And the XR model expands that possibility uh, to having thinner materials available to you and also give you more penetration up to a quarter of an inch. Um, and the XR also handles uh, reflective materials such as aluminum a little bit better. So the performance with aluminum is a little bit better, um, but this part in particular uh, with this thickness would be fine with any of them. Uh, so I'm going to get right into showing you the settings I'm going to be using. I'm going to be starting off with this piece here, which appears to be a little thicker than 16 gauge aluminum. Um, so what I'm going to do is look at my chart here. I am going to use a filler wire. I tend to try to use the filler wire whenever I can, but I do have the option to use fusion welding. So I'm assuming it's a 5000 series aluminum. I will choose my first setting to be F2. So I'll go here to my light weld, change the setting to F2. There's F2. And based on the thickness and how much penetration I need for this part, I will adjust my power. So we have uh, the chart ranges from 40 thousandths to 200 thousandths. Um, but you know, you can go lower than that or higher than that and anywhere in between. So this is just a general guide as to what power will work for what penetration. So I'm gonna start off with uh, a little under this 80 thousandths, I'll go with about 600 watts. And my wire speed for that is going to be about 75 centimeters per minute. Okay, so I have 75 centimeters per minute here on the wire feeder. Now what I'm going to do is take my aluminum wire feed set up here. I have 53, 56 wire loaded up in here with 045 diameter. I'm going to insert that nozzle into my welding gun and make sure that it's aligned properly. And now I'm ready to weld, as long as I turn my gas on. And my gas is already on. Um, okay, so I'm gonna throw on my glasses and my welding helmet and I'll get to welding. So I should have clamped the part down, it was moving around on me. All right, so I have it clamped down now, and I'll run this side. So if I want more penetration, I will turn the power up and I'll try that on the next corner here uh, and I'll see if I can get full penetration on that. And then on this last corner, I'm going to weld it from the inside to show you what that looks like. Turning my power up, I'll go up to about, uh, let's try 770 watts. Uh, 
check the inside and see what kind of penetration we're getting now. So you can see we're just a little bit shy of getting full pen the whole way down. We did get it at the beginning. Um, so for these last little bits, I'll just turn the power up a little bit more. We're about a 821. And yeah, it looks like maybe I could have used a little bit more still, but you can see we're, we're easily getting through here at the beginning of that weld, and we're only just above halfway through our power range, so we have the power to do that if we need. Uh, and then on this last corner, I'm gonna weld the two sides. our result for the inside weld. Oh, it looks like there's some adhesive left on this piece from the film, so it kind of made it a little bit black in there, but I still welded it without any issues. So I'll move on to the stainless part next. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to this part here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an outside corner weld with the continuous wave function to get a nice smooth bead along here. And then on the other side, I'm gonna show you what you can do with a custom setting. I already made one here, but what I'm gonna be doing is pulsing the laser as the wire feeds to give that TIG look effect. Um, and then these welds here, there's many ways to do it, but you can either just fill these in with the same weld or you can get them from the inside if you needed to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna fill them from the top here. Um, so let's get right into it. I have my welder set according to the chart at A2, 700 watts. I found that plus three on the wobble length helps me out on outside corners to get the best radius. So I'm gonna go ahead with that. So here we go. I start off by just doing a small section here. Okay, so I'll move on to the linear weld here. At the end, I might have to try to build up a little bit of wire so you can fill in this uh, bend relief. So a lot of times these bend reliefs can be a little tricky. It might be a good idea to try to tighten up the, the gap there if possible. So I'll just add a little bit more material. No big deal. I can tell that this power doesn't need to be quite as high, so I am gonna lower the power a little bit for this next one. I'll go down about 50 watts to 650. And this time I'm gonna start on the bend release. There's our nice uh, continuous wave laser weld there on the outside corner. I'm thinking you might want something in here too, but I'm gonna leave that for the pulse setting. So for the pulse setting, I'm gonna show you my setting I've set up as my zero, zero mode. 
pulse, three pulses a second, two and a half millimeter width at 800 watts. So it's a higher power, but it's pulsing, so it has less overall heat input. And I forgot to change the speed here. I was supposed to change the speed a little bit slower for this. So I'm gonna lower my speed down to 40. Um, something I use the pulsing for is going slower. It allows me to limit the heat input and get go slower and get more control for tricky situations. So we'll see the difference here. We have a nice aesthetic to that weld. <clears throat> I'm gonna lower the power a little bit and try a little something different. 50 lets watts, but one more pulse per second. See how that works out for it. Then release now. last couple bits here and turn the power down a little bit more I think 700 should be good oops that little piece fell through well, you know the tape's getting soft I'll leave those for after I'll just work on this piece right here wearing gloves for this. Part got quite a few inches of weld so it's warming up a little bit. You can see nothing like a TIG weld. For these little tab sections, I'm gonna do a little fusion tack weld on there just to hold them in place because the tape was melting and falling off. So I'm gonna turn off my wire feed and then I'm going to just turn my power down momentarily. Now there is a tack specific setting, but I prefer to just turn my power down and do a little tack. I'll get in there, do a little fusion tack with low power. to hold it in place. Yep, that's on there. Oops, that one. The first one didn't stick. power back up and do the actual load.
Now these ones would be good uh, opportunities for fusion welding, but the fit needs to be a little tighter on those tabs, and I know that's a little tricky sometimes. And I see one little spot where I can fill it in right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some material. So if you have any more questions about the light weld and how it works on your parts, send an email to info at speak to Glenn, or uh, he'll put you through to me and I can answer them for you.